Hi friends. So we are going to talk about comparing and contrasting this week. Um, if you remember, the tool that we use when we compare and contrast is a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram can be two circles that overlap, or they might be squares, it might be a chart. Um, all we need to really remember, and I'm going to move you for just a second, is that Comparing and contrasting, when we compare, we're usually looking at the things that are the same between two things. So we would be looking at what is the same between these. And usually when we contrast, we're looking at the things that are different. With these two things, what are things that are different, okay? When we use the Venn diagram, we are usually taking two things. So let's just take apples, and I would put apples on one side, I'm going to compare apples and oranges, okay? I'm going to compare apples to oranges. Now, remember, everything on this side is all about apples. What's different about apples over here is what's different about oranges. It is only about oranges on this side, and this side is only about apples. Now, remember that the middle where things overlap is what do those two items share in common? So what is the same about those things? All right, so let's take a look. Apples, they can be red, they can be green, they can be yellow. What about oranges? Yeah, you're right. I've, I've only seen an orange orange. Now maybe they're not quite dark orange when they're, um, ripening but oranges are typically orange okay they're not red they're not yellow they're not green what other things do they have that are different um ooh, taste they could be ooh, sour ooh, hold on though in my thinking aloud oranges can be sour or sweet have any of you tried a green apple yeah they can be kind of sour Red apples are usually very sweet. So that wouldn't go in my differences. That is something they have that's the same. Oranges and apples can be sour. And you can do your bullet points or you can do your dashes. I think I'm gonna change mine to bullet points just because they're easier to see. Okay. Easier to see. Okay. What else is the same about apples and oranges? You are right, usually the shape of both an apple and an orange is usually kind of round. Now it's not perfectly round, but it is still round. They share basically the same shape. So this is how we would use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast two different things. This side, when you label it, will be all about whatever you label here. Mine was apples. This side is going to be only those things that are about what you've labeled it. I labeled mine oranges. And in the center where my Venn diagram overlaps are going to be the things that are the same, the things that they share in common. So there you have it. Just a quick refresh of compare and contrast. I know this is something you guys are all really good at, so you're going to do great. If you have any questions, have mom send me a message or dad can send me a message. Till next time, friends. Bye-bye.